about this half crochet that I've been wearing for about a week now. A tutorial for how to do these curls at the end with hot rollers will be coming up in the next week or so. I did not film it when I did this crochet because I decided later on that I was going to add curl to it, but I did recurl it a few days later and I did film it so I will have a tutorial for that coming up soon. But for as far as hair details and everything else, that's going to be included in the tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, y'all. So I'm done braiding. So this top part, like I said, is the leave out. And this, I did do a beehive. Why can I not talk today? I did do a beehive in the back. So let me show you guys. This is the piece that I'm going to tuck in. I'm going to show y'all how to do that. So this is the side. The back. And the other side. Okay, I hope y'all could see it. So today I'm going to be using a beater instead of a crochet hook. If you watched my very first YouTube video, which was about free trust water weight, free trust, oh my gosh, y'all, not even, model model twin deep. Um, crochet braids then I told you guys that I used a beater so I'm going to be using the same beater today I do not use crochet lax latch hooks on my real hair I do use them when I make like wigs um, but when I I don't like to use it on my real hair because I feel like it snags and it, like it pulls at the hair and the beater is just better you can get the beater from usually a beauty supply store usually they will have them if not you can go to like Michaels or like Hobby Lobby or something look in the craft section and they should have them like by the jewelry beads and stuff and the hair that I'm going to be using today is the Harlem 125 Durban Twist 14 inches in a 1B this is what it looks like this is the exact same hair that I used for my crochet wig but I'm just not going to curl this I haven't decided if I'm going to leave it in its natural state like with this little wave or if I'm gonna kind of like lightly blow it out so I'll see um, I haven't decided yet but so here you can see that I have this tail in the end now you can do um, you can buy a needle and thread and sew it up but I don't have any and I real I forgot like to get it when I went to the beauty supply store so I'm just gonna tuck it in so basically all I'm going to do is let me see if I can show you guys this hopefully I'm in view I'm just gonna take the beater bring it through take the end of the braid and mm, let's see it wasn't pulling through sometimes the braid is a little thick so let me try pulling through just on the end And it should be just like this. So now this little piece is over here. So we're going to take that. And now it's pulled through again. And then we can do it. That's probably the last time. So you guys can see how it's here. But then it's tucked under here. And then once you um, install your hair over this, it'll become really secure and it won't slip out or anything. This is the way that I always do my crochet. I've never used a needle and thread to sew up loose ends. I always just lock it in with this beater or crochet hook or whatever you're using. So basically that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin the installation. So let me open the pack. Now, like I said, this is 14 inches and no, I will not be cutting it. So I will not be cutting the hair in half. So just as it comes in the pack, here's one piece. It looks like this. So you can leave it whole. You can rip it in half, in thirds. I think I'm going to try. Oh, maybe I'll do half. You have to like pull it. Okay. Sometimes. There we go. This was like a little knot on the end, so I just pulled that off. And then I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it each piece into fours. So pull again. And the reason this is this is Mar well, this is Durban twist hair. It's really similar to Marley hair. It is soft. Um, if you've used the Cuban twist 
hair then you know how extremely coarse that hair is and this hair is not like that at all it's a lot softer so I really like it and it holds a really really great curl if you watched my um the wig that I made the crochet wig that I made which I will link in the description box below it's this same hair and like I said earlier it is really soft so starting here I will just push you have to go out in order to do the invisible part so put your beater away from the circle take the hair it's looped in half bring it through like this pull through now you have this loop here and then instead of pulling both pieces you can just pull one piece or part of a piece and just like that guys that's it and so see when you flip it this way hopefully y'all can see that there's no knot here the knot is on the inside so let me do it one more time it's really important that you do them close together on the outermost circle so that it looks really natural you don't want to have like big spaces where you know your braids can be seen so pull through loop one piece and bring it through and now you should be able to see better how there's no knot on this outer portion so I'm going to do this invisible method around the entire outer circle and then for all the circles that are inner, inner like in this section, I'm just going to do regular, you know, crochet, not invisible, but just pulling both strands through with a knot. And so I bought three packs total, but I don't want it to be super big. I have to save one pack or at least a half of a pack so I can make my bun at the top. And I don't know if I'm going to use two full packs if I'll use a pack and a half but I'll come back once I have installed this and show you guys done this is two full packs of the Durban twist installed you guys can see the invisible part here and then all in the center is just the regular crochet also let me show you guys underneath okay so you can wear it in a ponytail if you use this braiding pattern now as you guys can see this is a ton of hair and this is only two packs so I'm actually just gonna lightly blow dry it and do a little bit of cutting and maybe use a razor to get some of the bulkiness out because I want like a like kind of like a natural blown out look I don't want it to be super straight but I don't want it to be this big either so it's getting dark outside so I'm gonna kind of um probably blow dry my hair in my bathroom and I'll try to get a few uh, a few clips of that and then I will do the bun and actually I might do the bun right now since it's getting dark I'm gonna go ahead and do the bun and then I'll blow dry um, this in my bathroom and then I'll show you guys the final product probably tomorrow so let's start on the bun I couldn't 
to your thing Remember that? Ha. She had her hair curl, glasses on Denim shirt, wrapped that arms around her waist The moccasins is what locked me in Couldn't be your way, girl I need to stay I mean I tried to leave but I can't go Her favorite band is what paint But her favorite song is by Sango Now she's here with me Sitting in the style Finally made that move We sat and talked for a while About everything's changing From music to our exes And Austin and Texas That's South by Watch a chance to rap it with a hipster girl uh. Watching James Blake with a hipster girl South by Everything about me Girl, I want you